What a huge day today. Welcome back to Third Phase of Moon, Blake Cousins, along with my brother Brent. We've got the biggest UFO news just coming into Third Phase of Moon, so buckle up, let's get to it. We're looking at something in the sky that can't be explained. Are we looking at biological entities, UFOs? There seems to be a massive commotion, people screaming, and we have these cops, and everybody's just kind of in shock and awe. What the heck is going on here? Yeah, Blake, we didn't want to put out an episode last night. We had the United States elections, and wow, we got our president, and hopefully this is going to be the disclosure president, Donald J. Trump. We'll see what happens. We're going to keep a close eye on that. What we're looking at here has the people in panic. You hear them screaming, and you see police activity there to the right. They're looking at something. These things look creepy. Uh, I've seen these things maybe before. Could these be some sort of kites propped up to look like some biological entity flying in the sky? Yeah, absolutely, Brent. It's, it's definitely possible. But again, we're looking at this and it almost has like a smoky, wispy feel. So it, it's I've seen these kites that Brent's referring to, but this one just looks and there's actually two of them. And they're almost like transparent and just like you say, Brent, creepy stuff. Uh, what we're looking at, white people are screaming. I don't know. I, I think something's up there that had them spooked. Now, let's get to the next video right now. Grave esto. Ayer lunes, en mi rancho en Pondo, California, se desintegró en un abrir y cerrar de ojos, como si pasara por un portal dimensional. No hacía ruido y se sentía una vibración en todo el cuerpo. All right, we're going to get some really close up looks at whatever this metallic, I don't know, tic tac. It, it just is incredible. The way, look at this, it's traversing up, uh, through the sky at a pretty moderate rate of speed, but again, no indication of any kind of propulsion that means anything that's com uh, commercial. We're looking at something that's very, very unusual. Yeah, this shit's weird, Blake. We're looking at it and you can see it just go across the plane over there from left to right at a low altitude. I thought maybe could this be some sort of maybe banner, advertising banner, but I'm throwing that out because we don't see any plane and we don't see any cable dragging this thing. This thing is on its own and it's it's square, it looks metallic. This is a unique UFO that should be thrown at Congress, thrown at everybody, because this thing, again, has no means of propulsion, and it just seems to be stationary as it just flies over the, the ground over there. Yeah, I'm looking at this, and I am trying to estimate the size of this craft, and indeed, we're looking at something authentic. It's not CGI or AI. I know people like to claim uh, that shit, all the time but we're looking at stuff at third phase moon where we if we see any of that we're we're going to call it out what we're looking at right now is legitimate footage and the question is uh, what is it and we're seeing the house in the background i don't know this looks to be uh, almost bigger than maybe two suvs yeah almost the size of a bus that's for sure again this guy got a really good shot it's crystal clear i wish he could have followed it and have seen what happened to this craft after after left the area or may, maybe it even landed who the hell knows but again looking at this thing it uh it's fascinating because we can't explain what it is now again big ufos at third phase of moon we're just getting started so everybody uh press that thumbs up we got the next video roll it mm -hmm. Bueno, como a las 5, eh, yo despacho a los maestros que, que trabajan en la casa y fue como súper raro porque nadie lo vio y los maestros tienen que haber ido por ahí cerca. Y lo otro, que esa cosa cambió de forma, pero muchas veces delante mío, porque la foto que yo te mandé eh, es parte del video que, 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 que le tomé. Eh, el video está súper nítido. En el video también se ve que esta cosa cambia de forma y, y al final, en el último segundo del video, se ve también que esa cosa parece que se transforma en árbol, no sé, pero es una cuestión rara. Eh, pero sí, eso cambió, no sé por qué se va a parar a mi oficina y, y ya lo he visto dos veces. La segunda vez fue hace poco. Wow, amazing capture. Uh, the woman is actually able to capture something on her cell phone cam 
and we're looking at it and it almost seems like it's on fire and this girl narrates the whole thing we're going to get some translation and it's going to come in the comments later as we uh, share this live premiere so look for that but what we're looking at in my opinion what this woman captured and her demeanor proves once again that the phenomenon is real and we're not looking at any trickery here this is legitimate footage coming out of chile and uh brent is this some i don't know it just do you see it it looks like it's on fire like it might be crashing yeah definitely maybe it's some sort of hot air balloon that's catching fire and falling to the ground who knows but when we get this close up like you said blake we see it it has this wisp of black smoke coming from the top as it descends over the rooftop some distance away this thing's huge because you can see the proximity from the camera and this object in the sky representing that this is, again is pretty far away i'm estimating again the size of, of maybe a half a school bus it's huge and then we get this close-up and this is something that's unidentified we just don't know what it is here we go let's uh slow it down bam that's so good we we get it we see it here it comes again let's just keep looking at this thing what's everybody in the chat room uh, we're so excited to be here at third phase moon and having this youtube channel and all our fans joining us casper site gave us a big shout out last night and uh, appreciate any casper site fans in the house tonight you guys rock that's right uh casper is doing good work over there and uh it's interesting the whole community the ufo community is coming together and maybe disclosure is right around the corner here but again we're looking at something in my opinion Brent I'm ha gonna have to disagree with you just a bit that again this thing is off at a distance so I'm saying this is this thing's at least maybe two uh, school buses long here it's it's so massive and then once again the conventions of any kind of means of propulsion aren't being indicated here it if this was a hot air balloon i'm sure we'd hear some kind of disaster in chile uh over the past uh, few days if anything was going down and we're not getting any indications of that uh, within the past few days so it, it if there is, please do some research. We did, and we didn't find it. This almost reminds me of like an Elon Musk uh, rocket, but I don't see the propulsion. It, it, it just reminds me of how he captured it with the chopsticks, and this thing's coming down for a landing, and maybe a little residual burn from it. Again, just very unconventional, weird, broad daylight sighting that we wanted to share uh, to the world right here at Third Phase of Moon. Now, like I said, we've got a lot of UFO videos what a day so let's roll the next one right now All right, at first glance, uh, Brent shared this video with me uh, moments ago, and I'm like, well, what are we looking at, a rocket launch? And then Brent says no, because uh, possibly, it's just weird, because you usually see the smoke trail from the launch pad as it traverses into space. We're looking at this thing kind of come out way up in the sky, like out of nowhere. So it would be like a rocket launch at maybe about 15,000 feet in midair is what we're looking at, but that doesn't make any sense to me. Or maybe it's a lot closer to the camera too at the same time. I'm kind of looking at the parallax as this thing's kind of moving. And let's take a glimpse here, right about as it passes, I think in front of a windmill and it's gonna come up it kind of, is it in front of it or is it behind it? Let's take a close look. Mm, it, it looks like it's in front of it. So I, I believe this thing's much closer to us. But again, we're looking at something very odd because it looks basically like a string of a uh, thread or yarn just flying up in the sky, uh, kind of just uh, holding itself too. It looks almost biological. Yeah, a, a good, a good eye there, Brett. And I'm sure we're going to do some analysis on this video to to get a closer look because when we're looking, I can see that it still keeps extending to the 
further right there like it's still whatever it is is dropping this kind of string and then it did seem to pass in front of the windmill blade so again it, that's very strange maybe it, it's kind of like a plasmic thing and maybe maybe it's only about 30 to to maybe 50 or 60 feet long but your thoughts on that yeah i agree again this thing is maybe it just caught some breeze and it, it lifted up in the air and we're looking at something very odd and hey if you see something like this film it and just film it till the end because if i saw this i would definitely do that because this thing's weird it it's, it's just strange it's it's elongated and i'm like you're right blake i think it's about 50 60 feet in length and you can see it because the, the vantage point of when he pulls back and the cameraman and the vantage point, it kind of adds up that this thing's uh, up some far distance away. Yeah, it's interesting. I'm sure people are going to say rocket launch for sure. And I, I think we just debunked that. So it's just a strange, um, I don't know, string of yarn just floating there. It just doesn't make sense. It's, it's just something very unknown, biological in nature, some kind of plasmic organic ectoplasm i don't know it's just uh, weird stuff I, I just i love this field it makes us so excited to keep sharing these ufo videos and we've got one uh coming in to the feed in just a few moments but we want to get your comments right now in this live premiere it really helps a lot the algorithm and youtube has been recognizing our daily uploads we haven't stopped for about i don't know what three weeks now so we're we're not going anywhere. Let's roll the next one. It's back. The acorn shaped UFO. Again, broad daylight. Uh, no trickery. It's captured within the optics of the camera itself. That's what we're looking for. Genuine footage. And we're looking at something that, again, she's kind of by herself in the park, kind of wondering what the heck is next to her. And she films this. It'd be kind of creeping me out. But again, this is no blimp or any kind of a hot air balloon. I don't see no gondola or means a propulsion and this thing's up there and it's it's quite large yeah Blake I, I just gotta say in my opinion I think this is AI not people we see it always in the comments people say oh, UFOs the the phenomenon is destroyed because of AI technology I just say hey when you see something that looks too good to be true and it's obviously created by AI generation you could call it out 99% of the time so what we're all we share in that third phase is legitimate footage and this girl captured some amazing footage of the phenomenal acorn ufo it's just up there this thing's massive and it's just staying there steady in the sky you don't see no gondola so this proves that this is unmanned as far as uh, somebody controlling it with some sort of heat this thing's on its own control yeah, and what's crazy is these sightings of the acorn-shaped UFO in this region, it's just almost like on a daily basis. It's continuous. And no culprit has come forward saying, hey, look, I've built the acorn UFO. And hey, look at what I've done. And if so, they'd have to have hundreds of these things around th this region because uh, they're just happening in too many places at the same time. So we're looking at something, again, that it's... It's just very strange, and that's what we're looking for, strangeness. And it's happening 24-7. So, again, incredible broad daylight sighting right here. And we're getting to disclosure. Today was a major, major day. We're up till about 1 in the morning here in Hawaii. Uh, everybody was sleeping in, in the mainland, but we got the word what happened. So we'll keep Donald Trump to his word and have disclosure and we're doing battle for disclosure check out the trailer you don't know that at the very top that whole project is being run illegally these are brand new witnesses and they've got bombshell information to talk about these technologies are unsanctioned they are illegal operations and this can be proven in any court of law 
like, wow, nobody's coming after us. We're gonna do this until we can get away with it. They would have so much control over everything if they had that. If this information was all released, it could fall into the wrong hands. They're using security as a cover for illicit or illegal or even treasonous activities. The members of Congress didn't have the detailed information of the precise location. Where they keep the bodies, the craft, the debris, all the evidence that we've been searching for the last 80 years. He knew how to keep a secret. Secrets were his stock and trade. They are literally making their own money to fund their own projects. We have a source currently in the deep black world. It doesn't matter if you're president of the United States, you're not going to talk about that. It was this large monolithic slab. It looked like it was elevated off of the ground. It is traumatic. Look, this is the most top secret shit you've ever heard of. Twenty-four Battle for Disclosure is going to drop and it's going to blow your mind. A lot of incredible interviews and insight and evidence that's going to shake up the world. So that's right. It's incredible what's going on right now. And we're so glad that you're still here with us in this live premiere. You heard our opinions with regards to the phenomenon, the videos we showed tonight. So we're just going to let them roll. We're going to let it roll raw and we're just going to hang around in this live chat. So everybody, Let's hear your comments. It's really important to us. Bueno, como a las 5, eh, yo despacho a los maestros que, que trabajan en la casa y fue como súper raro porque nadie lo vio y los maestros tienen que haber ido por ahí cerca. Y lo otro, que esa cosa cambió de forma, pero muchas veces delante mío, porque la foto que yo te mandé eh, es parte del video que, 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 que le tomé. Eh, el video está súper nítido, en el video también se ve que esta cosa cambia de forma y, y al final, en el último segundo del video, se ve también que esta cosa parece que se transforma en árbol, no sé, pero es una cuestión rara. Eh, pero sí, eso cambió, no sé por qué se va a parar en mi oficina y, y ya lo he visto dos veces. La segunda vez fue hace poco.
We appreciate everybody joining us in tonight's episode right here at Third Phase of Moon. Everybody, keep your eyes on the skies. And if you captured anything amazing, submit it to us right here at Third Phase. My email is in the description. Be safe. We'll see you next time. We'll catch you all later. <laughs> <laughs>